Welcome back everybody to another video of me explaining everything there is to know about music and in today's video we'll be I'll be teaching you major scales and the circle of fifths and the circle of fourths. Yes. Music is an art of sound and time that expresses ideas and motions in significant forms through the elements of rhythm, melody, harmony and color. Okay. So, let me teach you first off what the circle of fifths is. Whoopsie. And what what the circle of fourths are. So the circle of fifths. The circle of fifths shows the most common and popular major and minor scales to use for composing music. So why does the major scale have no sharps? This why does the C major scale have no sharps and flats in it? And why is it the only major scale with no sharps and flats? That question kind of uh, repeats itself. Uh, I'll get to that soon. Uh, like down here. I'll get it to it. But I'll show you the circle of fifths here. So the circle of fifths is basically a big circle. And it's the circle of fifths in a scale. So if we look at the C major scale here, we have C, D, E, e F, the fifth would be G, f uh, I almost said five, A, B, and C, and same thing here in bass clef, okay? So the fifth here in the C major, so you start with the C, you always start with the C uh, major scale, you always start with C in the key of C, C major scale, whatever, okay? And basically, the circle of fifths is you go to the fifth scale degree, and scale degree means the fifth note in the scale. So if we count, one, two, three, four, five. I even have it labeled there. Boom. Fifth, uh, fifth uh, scale degree is G, so we put that there. We label that as G right there. And then, as you can see, in the uh, G major scale, the fifth would be D, and then it's A, then E, then B, F sharp, and C. I'll get to the fourths later. Um, so, let's answer this question. Why is the C major scale the only scale, the only major scale with no sharps or flats in it, whatever, something like that? Uh, it is because the whole tone, half tone, note, interval positions are selected to fall on white keys of the piano and never on black keys. So that means that if you were to play the C major scale on a piano, uh, a major scale goes whole, whole, half. The interval positions go whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, which means, you know, those are the intervals between each note. And for that, this it starts with a C. Uh, the circle of fifths start with C. Because that is the uh, only scale with no sharps or flats in it. Or, what? That is the only scale that only has white keys in it. It's the only scale on the piano that only ha uses white keys and no black keys. So that's, pro that's one of the reasons why we start with it. There's other reasons that you could look up, but that's the main one. Okay. So, I also have some more information down here uh, to answer that question. Uh, over here, there's a little side note that says this C major scale has no sharps or flats in it. Yes, we all know that. Um, so yeah. So then the fifth, the fifth here is G. Okay. It's G in the C major scale. So we... You always to start a scale. You always so if it's the G major scale, you always start the scale on the line G. Okay, so if it's if it's a D major scale, see I started it on the D line. If it's G, I started on G. If it's C, I started on C, middle C to be exact. Okay, so uh, in the G major scale, there is one sharp that is F sharp. Because you have to raise you have to raise the seventh to make it a half step away from G 
to fit so it could fit the whole whole half whole 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 half uh, interval position and an interval is the distance between two notes so yeah if I didn't raise the seventh there it would be whole whole half whole 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 that that last one wouldn't be a half so it has to be a half step away so that's why we raise the seventh okay um, I'll get more into that in, in future videos. If you don't understand it now, that's okay. Because I'll explain it in future vi videos and interval videos and stuff like that. What a whole step and a half step is and all that stuff. All that jazz and stuff. Yeah. So, the G major scale has one sharp in it. And every time you go through, every, uh, time you go the farther you go into the circle of fifths, the more sharps are added. So G has one, D has two, because, uh, so, for the D major scale, you start on D, and whatever sharp was in the scale before this one, you have it in this one. So there's F sharp here, you have F sharp here as the third as the th oh come on highlight it there we go and then you raise the seventh okay so we go to the fifth one two three four five which is a as you can see there it's a and here the next page is just basically the scales um with sharps in them so a, there's three sharps. E major, there's four sharps. B, there's five. And then F sharp. It's F sharp because the fifth in B is F sharp. Or here it is in bass clef. So F sharp has uh, six. And then uh, C sharp has seven sharps in it. There's eight different notes. Two, uh, two of the notes are the same. There's two C's, and then, so that means, so like, A minus 1, 7, so 7 sharps. Because you don't count the extra C, because they're the same notes. Okay. Different octaves, but same notes. Okay, so the circle of fourths, or the circle of flats. So this is the circle of sharps. This is the circle of flats. There's another name for it, okay? Um... So, if you notice, it starts with C again, and basically, the circle of fourths is basically the same thing as the circle of fifths. Instead of going to the fifth, you go to the fourth, because in a major, and the reason why we're going to the fifth and the fourth is because in all major scales, as it says here, um, first, fourths, fifths, and octaves are perfect. So if you hear like a strong sound between two intervals, that would be like a perfect interval. So like in a major scale, the first, which would be called the unison, uh, fourths or fit, fifths and octaves, which are eighths. So yeah. Uh, so let's go to the fourth section. Uh, it is called the circle of fourths because you go, I just explained this, to the fourth perfect interval which would be the fourth scale degree in a scale, in each scale. So, if you start with the C major scale, if you go to the fourth, that would be F. Okay? And what you do, since it's called this, another name for it, since, it's, since the other name for it is called the circle of flats, you lower the fourth. So, we don't lower the fourth in the C major scale, but in the F major scale we do. Okay. We don't lower the fourth in the C major scale because the C major scale has all white keys in it, and if you lower the fourth or raise the fourth, really, it'll add up. It'll put replace a whatever note you lowered to a black key. So. Yeah. So. The fourth is F, and we start the next scale on the F line. And you see here, I lowered the fourth to make it B flat. Here it is in bass clef. 
Uh, yeah, so instead of raising that seventh up to one half step to make it sharp, you go to the fourth and lower it down uh, one half step to make it flat. So the B flat major scale um, has two flats, B flat, three, A flat, four, etc., etc., etc. Uh, C flat, just like C sharp, has all sharps. C flat has all flats. Um, and if you notice, there's a pattern. There is a, well, it's not really a pattern. The circle of sharps go C, G, D, A, E, B, F sharp, and C sharp. The circle of flats, or a circle of fourths, are reverse. You can see here, it goes F, and F would be here, B, E, A, D, and G. It's, it's sort of backwards. It's a little bit backwards, D and G. Yeah, it's a little bit backwards. But that's basically it. And if you looked on this last page, you saw that there's a lot of words here. Uh, you don't have to read this now because this page will be on my... Uh, this intervals page will be on my future website, which is under construction right now. Uh, it's a music theory website, all about uh, it teaches you all there is to know about music, but it goes in depth to more of the instruments and stuff. So you can look, you can look for this um, packet or this page under the packet section of my website, which is currently under construction. But yeah, so that's it for major scales and the circle of fifths and fourths or otherwise other name for it is the cir uh, circle of sharps and circle of flats and yeah okay guys so thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it if you learned something in value uh today in this video uh please hit the like button uh if you didn't it's okay if you don't understand it, it's fine. There's a lot of stuff floating around there on the internet that will cover this stuff. Uh, but if you did understand it, it's fine. Uh, like I said before, if you don't get it, don't worry because I'll explain in other videos. Rewatch some of the other videos or rewatch this video if you don't get it. It's really hard to understand. Music theory is a hard thing to learn. And I'm kind of going through that right now. Uh, learning about music, so... I mean, I'm learning about music and teaching you guys everything there is to know about music, which is fun. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video explaining everything there is to know about intervals. Or, actually, no, minor scales. Peace out.